Hi there, good morning in Singapore. I am in Texas, and so it is Friday evening here, so you guys are in the future, which is really kind of awesome. But, um, so you are going to see, I'm sitting in my office, and I have this wonderful sunlight coming in right now, but as we go through this class, you're gonna see it get a little bit darker. I'm gonna have to make sure that my computer screen is lighting my face well for you guys. But I hope that you are having a wonderful morning. Um, I'd love for you to just say hi to me and let me know that you're here. Um, I'm gonna try to make this so that I can see comments. Swipe left to reveal comments and reactions. Swipe left, sorry. I have to think about my right and left sometimes. Whoops, sorry. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I want you to talk to me, communicate with me uh, as we go through this. It makes it a lot more fun for me, and I want to meet you and get to know you a little bit. Uh, to tell you a little bit about myself, my name is Ashley Boyd. I am from Texas, uh, North Texas. Uh, if you're familiar with U.S. geography, it is hot here. I just spent an entire week at church camp with my kids, and so... Um, or with my son and some of our kids from church and so I have been out in the heat all week long I did get a nap this afternoon, so I am ready to share with you guys I'm going to be sharing um, an introduction to essential oils with you in Singapore I'm actually headed to Singapore in just a few weeks um, at the beginning of August I'll be there for eight days and so I am working to build a network there and start to begin sharing I have a, a team member that is from Singapore that will I actually just talked to today that will be there while I'm there and things like that. So I'm just really trying to uh, share a little bit and start to share with you guys in Singapore about essential oils. I've done a lot of sharing here in the United States and so I'm excited to branch out a little bit. The great thing is a lot of things that we use and love, you guys can use and love too. So to tell you a little bit about myself, I have a degree in theater. So I love to perform. I love to be on stage. If you followed uh, my Anointed with Purpose page at all, you probably have seen photos from shows and things like that. It's a passion. It's something that I love to do. I taught middle school theater, um, sixth through eighth grade, for six years and loved it, loved teaching kids. But I got into natural health and wellness because of my son mostly, and I'll share his story in just a minute. Uh, got into natural health and wellness, started sharing, got in, started using Young Living, started sharing the benefits of just the natural lifestyle and the the impact that it made in uh, on the lives of my family. And I started doing that full time. So I am a platinum with Young Living Essential Oils. And this is my full time job. This is what I do. And I love my job. I love that I get to go and visit places like Singapore and share natural health and wellness there. So... I am going to talk tonight about some of the most basic, uh, the most commonly used essential oils, some of the ones that we use that I keep on me, most of these I keep on me all the time, especially when I'm traveling. And um, so it's going to be very simple, very basic, and this is going to be a foundation of information for you to go and do your research and learn some more. So one of the great things about this entire thing is... I'm not a health professional. I just told you my degree is in theater. Um, I was a teacher, I was an educator, I'm a mom. And so my experience um, with essential oils comes from that aspect of I'm just a mom. I was a mom that did my research, that learned, that has used them on our family and has seen some incredible success and loves, uh, loves the oils. I love the supplements too, I'll talk a little bit about those. But I love the oils and I love sharing about them with other people. So we got started on our natural journey about, goodness, probably about eight years ago. When my son was about three or four years old and he was, um, he was struggling with some, some poor growth, some hyperactivity, some, some health issues. And we were, we just started, we did some testing. I had some testing done, found out that he had some nutritional deficiencies and some gut damage that was causing him to not grow very well and causing him to have some neurological reactions that we knew were going to be a struggle when he started school. So I immediately began to start to look into dietary changes that we could make to support his gut 
and to look into uh, ways to eliminate toxic chemicals in our home because one of the things we discovered is his gut was not processing toxins and getting them out of his system. Any toxins that he took into his body were just able to flood his system and wreak havoc. And that was one of the reasons why he was having so many problems. So we started to try to eliminate toxins. And, um, and that can be really hard to do. It can be kind of difficult, especially here in the United States when we like our processed foods and we like our... Um, our junk and our chemicals in all of our personal care products. So I started being a lot more conscious of ingredients that were in things. I started reading in, uh, reading labels on shampoo and personal care products. I started reading uh, labels and ingredients in our food. I started going to more whole foods and really trying to get away from the boxed and processed foods and made a lot of changes over the years for our family. Young Living came along during that journey. Young Living was not there at the very beginning. It was something that just came along during the process and it fit in so nicely to the changes that we were making and it made it the process so much easier because this is a company that I knew that I could trust and, um, and that had products that I knew would be good for my family. So why did I choose Young Living? Actually, I was introduced to Young Living when my my son is now about to be 12. So just to tell you how long we've been on this journey, we've been using oils for five years, and we've been on this wellness journey for at least eight years. Um, but he's doing amazing. I mean, the, the choices that we've made for him, in fact, my husband was telling him tonight, because uh, we went and had a salad for dinner <laughs> um, after we got home from eating camp food all week, and my husband said, you know what, Titus, you are so lucky, and that's my son, Titus. You're so lucky because you, we're teaching you to make good choices with your food right now. So it's going to be so easy for you later on. You're already going to have that foundation. My husband, on the other hand, he's like, I grew up eating processed cereal and, and uh, you know, grilled cheese sandwiches all the time. He was like, I'm having to learn this as an adult. So, and he's having to kind of work backward and, um, and make choices now to cor correct issues that you know, happen from years of not eating well. So we are able, we have this great ability to change the next generation. And that is huge. It's huge for me. I've seen a difference um, in my health personally uh, than some of the genetic things, genetic things that would have been passed down in my family. And it's all about lifestyle choices and the, the choices that we're making that are different. And that's important to me. And it has, um, it has impacted my life so dramatically that I can't help but share it with others. So that's a little bit of our story and our passion for sharing. The reason why I chose Young Living, I was actually introduced to Young Living through my husband's aunt when my son was born. So that was like 12 years ago. She sent me some of their shampoos, like the kids scents shampoo and things like that when my son was born. And, um, and then again when my daughter was born and she's eight now. So I, I had actually used some of the products and the first product I used were, was the shampoo. And so when it came along and I started learning more about essential oils and I was like, oh, these might really be great for what we're doing um, and the tr changes we're making in our family right now, I started to research different companies and I knew about Young Living because of my husband's aunt. And so I, um, I actually went in Sorry, I've got notifications popping up on my phone here. Um, I actually went and did my research online without anyone talking to me about it. So I researched for myself, Young Living, and several other companies out there. I actually did send uh, Aunt Sheila, Sheila is her name, a an email and asked her to tell me about Young Living. Well, Sheila travels a lot, and so she didn't respond to me. Um, and so I just did my research, and I learned about Seed to Seal. I learned about their testing process, about their cultiva their cultivation process, and, and even just at convention this past year, they talked so much about how much testing they do, the rigor, the rigorous um, uh, process they go through for their partner farms and for their co-op farms and all of the documentation they have to turn in. And it's incredible what this company goes through to ensure that what we have in our hands is quality products. I do know that... Um, when I would go to, let's say before Young Living came along, and I would go buy a bottle of shampoo at a natural health food store. 
I might pay like eight bucks for a bottle of shampoo like this big, okay? That is healthy for my family. Then when I started to learn more about ingredients and I started really checking into those ingredients, I realized that healthy shampoo really wasn't much better for my family than a $4 bottle of shampoo I could get at the grocery store down the road that might be like this big, right? And that was really frustrating for me because I'm going, this says it's natural. This says it's better. And I'm paying twice as much for half as much. And it's really not. And, and so knowing that there's a company that has that process laid out where they go here and they're so open about it. I've now visited three of the Young Living Farms um, and, and the seed to seal process, being able to see it, see the, the process they go through and the standards that they hold, not only their farms, but their partner and, their partner and co-op farms too, is really pretty incredible. And so that for me was the big selling point. I was like, awesome. I love this company. And so that's why I went with Young Living. To me, nothing surpasses the seed to seal. Um, I know that what Young Living does and the, the, the products that they put out are going to be good quality. I also know that if something comes in that doesn't meet their standards, they're just going to pass on it. If a product comes in, if, you know, a few years ago when Valor was out of stock for everyone and because of the black spruce, they got a bunch of black spruce in, tested it, and it didn't meet our standards. And so they sent it back. And that meant Valor continued to be out of stock for like another nine months. And Young Living cares more about the quality of the products that they put in our hands than about the money that they will lose on not having products in stock. And that, to me, is really important and speaks to the integrity of the company. I'm looking here for my notes so I make sure I don't forget anything. I, um, I get excited, and so I start talking, and then I'm like, wait, I actually do need to make sure I follow a script a little bit so that I don't skip something for you guys. Okay, so what are essential oils? Um, for me... I did not grow up in a household that was very naturally minded. So the idea of even herbal teas and all of that kind of stuff is not something that we really did a whole lot of. Um, if we were sick, we just went to the doctor. If we had issues, um, if we needed something, that's just what we did. So I did not grow up in a household that did these things. So my learning curve was pretty big. I have had a lot of things that I've had to learn about just natural wellness I didn't know anything. I didn't even know what homeopathics were until after I had kids. Never even heard of those things. So um, essential oils are basically the lifeblood of the plant. They are the the chemical components in the plant that can be, um, they, and they're brought out through steam distillation. So the reason why herbal teas work and people like them is because when you steep those leaves, it pulls out those essential oils. But 90% of the essential oil is lost in the drying process of the leaf. So essential oils actually have the ability to be, they're a lot more potent, a lot more concentrated than herbal teas. So if you're an herbal tea fan and you love that the effects of that, just know that a little bit of oil goes a long way when it comes to matching what your tea does, okay? Um, which is great because then you can make them last a, little, a lot longer. Uh, can, essential oils actually contain some of the most powerful antioxidants, um, and that's pretty good. Antioxidants are actually going to fight free radicals in our body, and um, and that helps us helps keep our bodies healthy and working at optimal level. Um, essential oils contain many different chemical constituents. Guys, I just told you a little bit ago I'm a theater major, not chemistry major, and not a science major. But one of my favorite chemical constituents are sesquiterpenes, okay? And sesquiterpenes are actually compounds that can cross the blood-brain barrier and oxygenate the brain, which is why some essential oils can really help, you know, help you be more alert and awake and help break, wake your brain up and help you think better. And so we'll talk about some of those oils and which ones are really high in sesquiterpenes in just a little bit. And the fact that they can cross the blood-brain barrier is pretty um, amazing because they have not found a way yet for pharmaceutical drugs to do that. Talked about our farms. Young Living has farms all over the world um, and we have partner farms all over the world. So you can go to www.seedtoseal.com and look at where our farms are located. The farms that I've been to, been to are Mona, Utah, uh, St. Marie's, Idaho, and 
Guayaquil, Ecuador. So I've been to the farm in Ecuador and um, the farms in Idaho and Mona I have been to twice. Actually, Mona, I've been to three times, and so, um, but I've only been to Ecuador once, but I do want to go back, and I want to take my husband with me. So, all of that is, uh, is super, you know, there's a ton of great information out there, a lot of really great videos that talk about the distillation process. We do have a few oils that are, where, the, where the, they aren't steam distilled. A lot of the citrus oils, like lemon, are actually... Um, pressed the oils are pressed out of the rinds so you know when you peel an orange or a lemon and you see that oil drip down man that's good stuff right there <laughs> so um we press that out of the um of the rind in order to get that essential oil okay well there are two ways that you can use essential oils and we're that we're going to talk about today and they are aromatic that is inhaling the oils. And a lot of people are really familiar with this because aromatherapy is pretty popular. So we're used to the idea of inhaling something and it affecting um, our minds and affecting the way we think, affecting whether or not we're relaxed and things like that. And I'm gonna talk about there's a few different ways you can actually do this though. You can literally just put the oil in your hands, rub them together and breathe them in. And just enjoy that. I actually have some oils on my wrists right now that I'm breathing in and enjoying. I'm going to take some, take a little bit of lavender here and do this right now just so that I can enjoy some of this. If you have lavender, you might want to do it with me. It's always great to use oils together across the world from each other, right? Oh, and then I can just rub it on the back of my neck because I'm relaxing. I'm winding down. Um... And, and getting ready to enjoy a quiet evening with my family here in Texas. So lavender is a great oil that I love to apply topically. And, and you notice that's what I did. I actually did both applications right there. I inhaled it and then I rubbed it on the back of my neck. So I'm getting the aromatic benefits and I'm applying topically. Another way that you can use the oils aromatically is like this. So if you're not, um, you know, if you don't want to put anything on your hands, uh, or whatever, then you can actually use a diffuser necklace. You can use, a, I have a wooden watch that I can put oils on. I actually have some leather bracelet, bracelets that I will use. My kids um, have leather brace, bracelets that they'll wear to school sometimes. Um, but there are a lot of different little places that you can, Young Living has some of these, but you can order these from Sacred Arrow. Um, you can order, look on Etsy, look on Amazon. There are lots of really great places that you can order some great diffuser necklaces and diffusing jewelry. A leather is a big thing right now, the big leather earrings and, and leather necklaces and things like that. You can actually just put oils directly on those and experience them and enjoy them all day. If you're at home and you're in a room and you want everybody in the house to enjoy um, the aroma, then you can actually diffuse and use a diffuser. This is the, I got it on here kind of sideways. This is the Dewdrop diffuser. It is one of my favorite diffusers. Um, and you just take this, take the little top off, and then you take this little section off. And you're going to have to excuse my diffuser because it's dirty. It's stained because I put thieves in it all the time, okay? So you're just going to put fill water up to this little red dot right here. Put a few drops of oil in there, depending on the size of the room. I might put three or four drops. I might put up to eight or ten drops in a larger room. And then you turn that sucker on and you let it diffuse. It's great for getting uh, smells out of the house, for just purifying the air. Guys, I love candle candles. I used to love candles, and I loved having my house to smell like a candle had been burning. But most candles are carcinogenic and are not carcinogenic and they're not good for you um and so there's and then the little plug-in things that you get in the wall that put smell that stuff is full of chemicals so this is a great way to not only have a therapeutic benefit for your family but it's 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 filling the void that's left behind when you start to eliminate candles and plug-ins and things like that so that's another way you can enjoy the oils aromatically um i i just I, th this is something that I do for teachers a lot is I either give them a diffuser or I give them a diffusing necklace so that they can enjoy them while they're at school. Um, I will do this if, if I can't smell it really well. I'll just sniff it throughout the day. If I put an oil in there, usually I'm wearing a calming oil or a relaxing oil 
or an energizing oil if I have to sit through something where I'm having to listen for a long time. So that's aromatic. The other way that I've already shown you actually is to apply the oils topically. You just put them on your hands, rub them together, rub them on the back of your neck. Some oils are hot oils. Uh, and I'll, I'll mention which ones are. There are dilution recommendations on the back of them. So you're going to want to dilute them with a carrier oil, okay? A carrier oil is a fatty oil, so it's different than an essential oil. So a carrier oil is going to be something like coconut oil or avocado oil or olive oil, something like that. You just want to make sure it's a really good, pure carrier oil. Young Living does have an oil called V6 that is a combination of good fatty oils that you can use as a carrier. But you can dilute the oils and then put them on, especially on more sensitive skin. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you dilute well if you're using on kids or, or babies or even just in more sensitive areas yourself. You just want to dilute well. But one of the great things that I love about oils, because I got so excited when I got my kit for the first time, and I took Thieves, which I don't know if you know, but Thieves has cinnamon in it, and this is uh, a hotter oil. And I just took it and put it on my kids. And my kids were pretty young at the time when I first got my kit. I just put it on them, and then my son Titus was like, ah, like, it's burning. And so I was like, oh, oh, what? let me figure out what I need to do. And then I just put coconut oil on top of it, and it was all fine. So you can dilute even after something has been applied. So just make sure you test a small area, and if you didn't dilute it enough, you can go back and dilute on top, okay? One important thing for topical application is you wanna make sure that you don't get it in your eyes or in your ears, okay? Those are really sensitive areas, and that might seem like easy breezy. I will never get an oil in my eye. But let me tell you, it happens, and it happens more often than I would like to admit. I wear contacts and so if I put something like peppermint oil on and I rub it on my hands just like I did and rub it on my neck um, and then I go to, I even, even after I wash my hands sometimes I have to be careful because that oil just stays on your fingers and, um, and will make my eyes a little bit watery. But if you do get an oil in your eye, you just want to dilute it with a carrier oil and don't wash your eye out with water. So take a couple drops of olive oil, Sometimes I'll just, because I've had this happen to my kids too, where I just take a scoop with my finger of coconut oil and just glide it right over the eye. It also gets your eye makeup off really easily. So um, so that's, that's what I do. So just let it be an encouragement to you that really a lot of people are always like, well, where do I put the oil? It doesn't really matter. Um, once you apply an oil, it affects every cell in your body within like less, less than two minutes. I'm looking for my little thing here because it tells me. All of this stuff. Less than two minutes, and it's going to affect every cell in your body. So wherever you apply it, it can be helpful. If you're trying to target a specific area, then usually that's kind of where I try to apply my oils. If I want to smell it, then I'm going to apply it where I can smell it. I love Tranquil. It's one of my favorite oils. And I'll apply it here and on the back of my neck because I can smell it um, when I'm trying to relax and getting ready to go to sleep. So that's, that's where, where I like to apply it. But some oils I know I need, but I don't like the smell of. And I'll be honest with you and tell you when we go through these oils in just a minute, which ones I'm not a big fan of. So you know what I do with those suckers? I put them on the bottom of my feet and I put some socks on. Then I don't have to smell it, right? So, and I don't have to smell like that. There are some oils that I love that are great oils and I don't mind the smell of them, but I don't necessarily want to smell like them. So oregano. Oregano is a great oil, has a lot of great uses, but I don't want to walk around smelling like pizza, okay? So I don't like to wear oregano where other people can smell it on me, okay? So I'm going to talk about a few oils that are some of our favorites. Talk about a few uses for each of them. The first one we're going to talk about is peppermint, right here. A little bottle of peppermint oil. This is a five milliliter bottle of oil. You, depending on the viscosity of the oil or the thickness, then these bottles have, um, I've heard, 70 to 100 drops in them. So it just depends on the thickness of the oil. So that'll give you an idea of maybe how long one of these would last you, depending on how often you use it. Um, and I usually use like a drop at a time. But peppermint oil is really great for stimulating and energizing your brain. If you need to focus and concentrate, uh, you can put a drop. Uh, on your hand and put it on the back of your neck and it gives you a cooling effect when you're out in the heat. 
Uh, I love this. I actually had a spray that I made for, um, it's, a, it's a summer spray. Candy's on here. She actually helped me make them. And I used it when we were out at camp this week. And it had peppermint in it. And I would just shake it up and spray it on me. It had water and witch hazel, a couple drops of peppermint, a couple drops of lavender. Just spray it on my body. Had this great cooling effect. Because um, you know when you suck on a peppermint, it has that cooling effect in your mouth. Peppermint oil has that effect um, on you. You can also, this can be a hot oil. It's a mint oil. Mints and citrus oils can be kind of kind of hot for sensitive skin. I can apply it directly without a problem, but it does have a lot of um, monoterpenes, which means it's kind of fumey. So if you get it even right here, that might be kind of close to your eye, make your eyes water a little bit. So um, just be, be cautious with it. Dilute it well if you're using it for the first time or if you're using it on sensitive areas. Um, it's also a really great oil for uh, the digestive system and so so most people know that and love peppermint for helping with digestion and that's one of ours I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I love to use peppermint for I like to diffuse peppermint sometimes if I need that clean refreshing energizing scent but I really like to just keep peppermint on hand for when I need that pick me up, when I need to be a little bit more alert and awake. Um, and I just put it right here on my temples, a little bit further back away from my eyes. Um, and it has such a nice, great effect on my brain because my brain needs a little bit of energy sometimes. The next one we're going to talk about is lavender. Lavender oil is a really calming scent. And, ah, woo, sorry, it jumped out of my hands. And most people know this. Most people use it. It's, it's really common in all kinds of spa products. Um, one of the really interesting things about lavender is that the amount of lavender products that there are sold in the world, there is not even like, uh, it, there is not nearly enough lavender grown to actually, um, give enough essential oil to create all of those lavender products. So the majority of the lavender products out on the market have synthetic lavender in them. Okay, something that is created in a lab in order that has this lavender scent to it. So just keep that in mind. All right, lavender is one of the first oils that we ever use and it is so great for relaxation. And it's really great for sleep. Um, the scent of the lavender, oh, I meant to say this peppermint, super strong. Like this does not take very much. Very strong scent, um, does not take a lot. Lavender, the scent of the lavender is not like the spa lavenders, which are kind of sweet. This is very weedy. It smells very much like a plant. Um, and it's one of the things that I love about it because you know that that is really going to be clean, pure. When I, I have picked lavender from the farm in St. Marie's, Idaho. I actually have some back here in my, in my little hutch. And when I smelled it, that's, this, this is exactly what it smelled like smelled like that. It has a flowery, but kind of more of a weedy flowery scent instead of a sweet flowery scent. But it's super relaxing. It's funny because this is one of the first things that I started using on our family and I put it on the bottom of our feet. And my husband was a little bit of a skeptic about the oils. And, um, but one night he was like, okay, we'll go ahead and put it on my feet and we'll see, you know. So I just put a swipe on the bottom of our feet. Feet are a great place to apply oils. Not not just because it, if you don't like the smell of an oil, it's far away from your nose, but also because your feet, um, I don't know if you've ever heard about Vitaflex, um, but the Vitaflex points on your feet are where all of your blood vessels and all of your nerve endings go through your feet. So it's a great place for your body to absorb the oils and use them where, where it's needed. So just don't ever be afraid to apply them to the bottom of your feet. Also, um, Feet are really sturdy, so it's not usually a sensitive area, uh, unless you're ticklish. It's not usually a sensitive area when it comes to oils. So I can apply a really hot oil to the bottom of my feet without diluting, without any problems. So it's a great place to start on kids and babies. Dilute an oil well, start on the bottom of their feet, and, and see if it's a, an oil that they really seem to like and their body responds well to. So lavender is great for sleep. My husband, after using this for about a week, he would not let me take it off of his side of the table. He still has his own bottle of lavender that stays on his side of the bed, and I'm not allowed to take it. If I use it, it has to go right back there because he wants to have it within arm's reach at bedtime. So um, 
So lavender sold my husband on the oils because it works and it helps him get to sleep. He's the type that will toss and turn at night and not necessarily go straight to sleep. And so it's been very helpful for him. Lemon. I showed you this one earlier. But lemon is another really great oil that is super useful for a lot of different things. Besides just being a really clean, fresh scent, I love to diffuse this one. I love to diffuse the citrus oils because it just makes the air feel really clean and crisp. You can also make all kinds of household cleaning products with just this sucker. Uh, a little bit of um, maybe Castile soap, depending on what you're making, vinegar, baking soda, this thing is amazing. It's also really good at breaking down petrochemicals. So if you have sticky goo, like um, gum or uh, like a leftover sticker residue anywhere, then you, this will actually break it down in order for you to clean it off. I've used it a lot like that and I really like it. And the citrus oils are not very expensive. Um, they're some of the least expensive oils that we have. The mints are also. And so I don't mind using a ton of lemon oil and I don't mind diffusing a ton of lemon oil because a little bit goes a long way. But it's also an energizing scent. All the citrus scents are going to be really energizing and really wake you up. Um, if you use it topically, I do want to warn you, the citrus oils can actually make your skin a little bit photosensitive. So if you apply, you know, you saw me take the lavender and apply it to the back of my neck. Right now, I would not do that with lemon oil because it's Texas, summer, the sun is hot, and if I'm outside, I will, I, I'm pretty dark complected, but I will get a sunburn across the back of my neck wherever I've applied this. So instead, I apply citrus oils in the summertime where the sun don't shine, okay? So I apply to my stomach, maybe the bottom of my feet, but somewhere that the sun is not going to hit. So that's just a little tip for you to help you out. All right. Now we're getting into some really good powerhouse oils here. Frankincense. This oil is super powerful. We talk about lavender being the kind of the Swiss army knife of essential oils. Like if you don't know what else to use, use lavender because it's good for so many different things. It's good for skin and, and all of that stuff. Frankincense is too, but there's a pretty big price difference between the two. So frankincense is my powerhouse that I save when I really need it. Um, frankincense is one of these oils that's really high in sesquiterpenes. So it is going to be extremely, extremely oxygenating to the brain. Um, you can apply it to your skin. I actually love to apply this around my eyes at night to help with the fine lines because it's great for that. Um, you can diffuse it or inhale it directly to increase spirituality and inner strength. It lifts your mood and it can inspire balanced emotions, which is really great. We can all use balanced emotions, right? Um, may help smooth the appearance of skin and it can help support your well-being and normal, normal cell health, cellular health. So frankincense is a really, really powerful oil. It's one that I love. The scent of it, when I first smelled it, um, cause I didn't grow up in a church that diffused or, or burned incense. And so this was a very unfamiliar thing to me. I had no idea what frankincense was going to smell like until I smelled it. it. Smells like old buildings to me. Um, and, and right now, actually, it has more of a crisp, clean scent than I would say like the rotting wood scent that I used to, <laughs> less earthy and more crisp and clean. Maybe it's this bottle. I'm really loving this frankincense right now. It's funny to me how your opinion of oils can change. The way this smells to me right now is way different than the way that it smelled when I first smelled it. So if you ever smell an oil and don't like it, don't give up because... Your mind and your opinion will change about it. I must need this right now because I'm like loving it. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this on right now because I'm loving the way that this smells. I'm going to rub it on the back of my neck. I'm going to rub it on my temples. I'm going to actually just put it in my hair. Then I'll smell it. It's great for your skin and hair. So I'm getting all kinds of benefits. Now, I will tell you right now, I put it on the back of my neck, no problem. But around my eyes, it does feel a little tingly. Frankincense is not really a hot oil, but I've heard several people say that it will make them tingly around their face. I actually use the Young Living uh, Moisturizer, and then I put this on afterward, and it doesn't bother me at all because the moisturizer kind of dilutes it a little bit. Okay, Copaiba. Copaiba is actually an oil that when I first heard of it, because it wasn't in the kit when I originally got it, 
I had no idea what it was. I've never heard of copaiba. Um, it's actually a tree in South America. We don't have them around here in Texas. Um, we don't have frankincense either, but it's in the Bible. So we've heard of that. Um, but copaiba is not one that we have heard of, but it is a tree oil. So this is another one that's going to be good for um, in ses with sesquiterpenes. Copaiba is an oil that I have learned. Uh, every time I learn something new about it, I just fall in love with it even more. It has a very, very gentle scent. So it's kind of a light, almost like a fir tree um, or an evergreen tree type scent, but it's very, very mild. Like I have to get it really, really close to even be able to smell it. So this is an oil that I use topically a lot. I don't really diffuse it a lot because it doesn't add scent-wise much. Not that it wouldn't have any therapeutic value inhaled, but um, this is an oil that is really great for layering with other oils. So if I'm trying to really target a specific area, really trying to support my immune system, something like that, I will layer oils on top of each other. And copaiba is a great, I always end with copaiba, copaiba or peppermint oil. It's been called an oil enhancer. It enhances the other oils. Uh, peppermint is a driving oil, so it's going to drive those other oils in. So copaiba is a really, really great oil, and it is amazing for your skin, for your hair, for your hair. And this is one of those that I've learned. As I learn more about it, I realize it's great for everything. It's a lot like lavender and frankincense. Or if you don't know what else to use, this is a really great one to reach in, grab, and use it. And if you have something that someone that's really sensitive to smells or scents. This one is not going to be offensive to them at all because it just does not have much of a scent at all. So that's Copaiba. It says it can also be emotionally calming, securing, and grounding when it's diffused or applied topically. Um, it's a great addition to natural skin care. Copaiba is another one I keep in my bathroom that I use um, topically on my face sometimes. And, and it has some great naturally occurring constituents, beta Carophyllanine and alpha humulene. I will spell those out for you because I probably didn't pronounce them correctly. And it gives you a great opportunity to go and search and see um, what those constituents are really great for. Okay, next we're going to talk about digize. All right, I'm going to have this is my honesty moment, you guys. Told you I would tell you, and I do not like the smell of an oil. Digize is one of those oils that I don't really like the smell of. Um, it has fennel in it, it's a blend. So all the other oils were single oils, just one oil. This is a blend, so it has a lot of different oils in it, and it is blended, blended specifically for the digestive system. So Digize actually has fennel in it, which is um, like that black licorice flavor, and I'm not a big fan of that. So Digize, it also has some, some spearmint, some peppermint in there, so it's got a little bit of that mintiness too. But one of the things that I love about Digize is it is so good for your digestive system. It is so good for your digestive system that it doesn't even matter if you don't like the smell of it because you will use it anyway. Um, so I've rubbed this directly on my stomach. Um, this stays in my kids. My kids have their own little kit. This one stays in there with that for them. Um, and then I've applied it to the bottom of my feet at times. If there's times when I'm like, I do not want to walk around smelling like this, then I can apply it to the bottom of my feet. So you can apply it topically. You can diffuse it if you want to. I would prefer not to smell it in that way. Um, some people really love the scent though, so I'm not, I I'm, could, but I know it's it's about half and half. It's about 50-50 on Digize. Um, but it doesn't matter how it smells. It still works. So it includes fennel essential oil, which dates back to uses in ancient Egypt. Um, when traveling ab abroad, yes. Okay, guys. So I've traveled to places like um, Mexico and the Dominican Republic and Ecuador where you can't drink the water because um, it's it's not uh, guaranteed to be clean or good for you. So when you go places like that or even places where you're going to be eating foods that are different that your body is not used to, Digize is a must. Carry it with you and use it daily. This is, seriously, this is an oil I will not be without when I'm traveling abroad. Okay, Thieves is another oil that we love. I just talked about this one a minute ago. Um, Digize might be a little hot, so you might want to dilute it on kids. I apply it topically without dilution all the time, no problem. Thieves, though, does require a little bit of dilution. It is a kind of spicy oil. It smells like Christmas. 
It smells like cinnamon, clove, rosemary. It has, I love the smell of thieves. This is an oil that we diffuse nonstop throughout the winter months here in Texas. Um, we have a lot of people in and out of our house and we wanna make sure that it smells clean, that the air is clean and crisp and clear and anything anyone may bring into our house, we can, they can actually leave with it and not leave it here in our house. So Thieves is one of our favorites for that reason. It's an excellent cleaner and degreaser. Um, it's at, we actually have an entire line of household cleaning products that is based on Thieves. So we have uh, the Thieves cleaner, which is the only cleaner that I use in my house. I use it for floors, my wood floors. I use it for countertops. I use it for mirrors. I use it for windows. I use it for toilets, different um, strengths, but I use it for all of those things. It is, oh, it can also, it can help support healthy immune function. So this is one of the oils that I will actually put on my kids' feet when I'm really good and I remember to every night during the school year. Uh, Thieves is incredible for supporting the immune system and helping the body stay healthy. So this is one of those oils that I do not run out of. It went out of stock a few years ago here in the United States. Um, over the winter months, because that's when everyone's trying to get their hands on it. It didn't go out of stock last year, so they've been really good at keeping it in stock, but I always tell people, this is the time of year to start stocking up on these kinds of things. So Thieves is a must-have in our house. We diffuse it all winter long, um, and we apply it topically to our kiddos, to our feet, and when our immune systems are needing a little extra support. Love, 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 and I love the way that it smells, because I love that cinnamon scent. There's also a really great history on where the Thieves name came from. If you look up um, Thieves Tincture, um, then there's a really great legend that kind of goes with that. RC is the next oil we're going to talk about. This is one of my favorite oils as far as the way that it smells. RC is a respiratory support oil. It is a blend of eucalyptus oils and it and has peppermint in it also, I believe. It is incredible for your respiratory system. So this is a great oil to apply directly to your chest. You can diffuse it. This is one that I will stick in my diffuser if my respiratory system is needing some extra support. Stick it in my diffuser and run it next to my bed so I'm breathing it in all night long. If I really want to kick that, um, kick it into high gear, I'll add a little bit of frankincense to it too. Frankincense is also great for the respiratory system. Um, you can put it on your, even putting it on your feet or your chest before you exercise. To me, it seems like it opens up my airways a little bit. So I can just breathe a little bit easier when I'm exercising. So it's really great. My daughter just loves the way that this smells. Um, for my kids, when they're needing some extra support, this can be kind of a hot oil. Um, it's just a little bit, very fumey, kind of a little powerful, kind of like peppermint. And I will put, I'll take a little baby food jar Put a couple tablespoons of coconut oil, take about 10 or 15 drops of this and stick it in there. And then I have made a little chest rub that it's just really easy for me to stick my hands in and rub on my kid's chest uh, when they need it. Or for them to do it themselves. My daughter's eight, my son is almost 12, and so they're getting to an age where they can totally take these things and do them all by themselves. And that's what I'm all about, right? Like, you need something, you know where to look, you know where to go and get it. The next oil that I'm going to talk about is Panaway. This oil also smells fantastic. I actually scanned for this oil today, and that's because at camp, I spent a lot of time walking around. I spent a lot of time dancing. Last night, we, we danced um, while fireworks were shooting off. It was a lot of fun, but I'm 33, and those kids are like 8 to 12, so that means they can kind of uh, their energy can kind of outlast mine and their physical bodies can probably handle a lot more than mine can. So when I scanned myself today, this came up and I was like, oh, I know why that is because my feet were a little swollen and had are feeling like I walked around a camp all week long, right? I don't know how many steps or miles I walked this week, but it was a lot. So, um, so Panaway is just a really great cooling oil. You'll notice it has a childproof cap on it. And that's because it has wintergreen in it. Wintergreen is pretty powerful. So you're going to want to make sure you dilute this when you use it the first time. Um, and just, uh, it is, I've used, I have used wintergreen on my kids before, but I definitely dilute it well and make sure it's on the bottom of their feet. But I have also applied this one topically 
uh, without anything and haven't had any issues with it personally. So it's just kind of a personal preference on what that dilution ratio looks like for you and what works well for you. But the, with the wintergreen, it just smells like root beer. It's very clean, fresh. Actually, it's a very relaxing scent to me too. Um, so I wouldn't even mind diffusing this. Although the main application is usually topical because it's going to help support those muscles, support um, muscles that have maybe been overworked, overstretched, um, and joints and, and bodies that are just a little bit so this is a great one to add to an olive oil, maybe make a massage oil out of it if you like to do massages or give massages. Actually, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm totally going to make um, a little massage oil and, and rub my feet with this tonight because that's exactly what I need right now. Okay, the next oil here that we're going to talk about is purification. Purification is an amazing oil that has uh, lemongrass, lemon, Melaleuca, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget something if I keep trying to list them all. But it has a very crisp, clean scent. Purification is one of my favorite oils to diffuse, especially when you're trying to get a scent out of your house. So if I, I like, you know, I don't cook bacon very often, but if I do cook bacon, it doesn't, you know, bacon cooking smells great, but bacon the next day, still smelling in your house does not smell great. I also like to make curried chicken, and you know, curries will stick, that smell will stick around in your house. Fish, when you cook fish, that smell just kind of lingers. If you diffuse purification, it has this amazing ability to just get that scent out of your house. Um, I just spent a week with stinky kids, uh, and I didn't have purification, but I used a couple of other oils that were really great. This is also great for your shoes. Your shoes are stinky or smelly. You can stick a little bit of this on a cotton ball, stick it down in the bottom, or just drop a, a couple of drops directly onto your onto the sole of your shoe. The other thing I love is we have dogs, um, and I have a six-month-old golden retriever who is precious, but he is such a puppy. And when he was potty training, our carpet, you know, sometimes gets a little icky. And in between carpet shampoos, taking some of this with baking soda mixing it up and making a, a, a carpet powder that you can just kind of dust it over your carpet, let it sit for a little bit, and then you vacuum it up and it makes, it freshens your carpet, helps it smell amazing. I have also made sprays out of this as fabric fresheners. So the curtains here in my office, you can't see them, had this weird smell to them. I don't know what it was, but when I hung them up, I noticed it was almost like a fumey smell coming off of them. And so I just for a couple of days went and sprayed purification on them um, to get it, just to get the smell out. Another great thing, you see the dark paint here in my office, um, is you can add purification to paint to help with those paint fumes as well. Just a lot of really great applications for purification. It can also be really great because of the things that are in it, the oils that are in it, Melaleuca and stuff like that. A lot of these oils are really great for the skin. So you can apply it topically for any skin issues that you're dealing with. Um, it could be kind of hot. It has lemongrass in it. And lemongrass is a hot oil. Uh, it's one of my favorite oils, though, because it smells like lemon drops. But you might want to dilute it uh, the first time you use it topically just because, you know, it might be kind of hot for you. So that is the oils that the, these, these we call these the everyday oils, um, they're just the kind of the 10 most commonly used oils. And so if you have any questions about those, I would love for you to ask, let me make sure that I can see you guys. Sometimes the way that I am doing my, um, the way that I'm doing this sideways like this, it makes it really hard for me to see um, what you guys are, if you guys are asking questions. But if you ask a question and I don't see it and respond right now, then I promise I will later okay um but I, I want to give you an opportunity to ask questions and i also want to talk a little bit about uh how you can get the, a kit with these oils and a diffuser in your hands so i know that i'm actually going to look here because i want to make sure that i give you the right numbers okay so you can get these 10 oils with a diffuser and you actually get uh your a membership to young living so 
here in the United States, we have like wholesale places where you can go and shop and buy. We call them Cost I don't know if you guys have Costco in Singapore or Sam's Club, but you can actually go and buy things at wholesale price. So you can buy it kind of in bulk. Well, you pay a fee every year in order to do that. So Young Living's kind of like that, except you don't have a yearly fee. You kind of buy in to be able to get your membership and you can buy the products at wholesale price. So you can pay retail price for these products, but you're gonna pay 24% more at retail price than you would pay for wholesale price. So we don't really recommend that because it's just not really worth it. And the wholesale membership is really inexpensive. So the basic starter kit, if you just, like you're like, I don't know if I wanna start with any oils, I really just wanna get started with a kit. The basic starter kit comes with a, your membership. It comes with a sleek bar, cause Young Living has uh, supplements. They have a ton of stuff besides oils, but we are just talking about oils today, so I'm trying not to go into all of that. Um, and they come with a sleek tea, a couple of sleek tea, four sleek tea bags, which are is one of my favorite teas. I love it. Um, and then you get your membership and you can order whatever oils you want to at a discount. Oh, there is one more oil in here. Just a second, I have to find it, that I didn't talk about. And it's one of my favorites and it's one that I used to this week because I spent the week with a bunch of kids. It is Stress Away. Stress Away is actually not a part of this, uh, this 10 oil thing. It actually just comes with your membership. But Stress Away is a lime copaiba vanilla blend. It's actually, you, vanilla is not found in an oil on its own. So you can only get it in a blend. And it smells amazing. It smells like, like a beach somewhere. That's what I feel like. It smells awesome. So Stress Away, this is one moms, teachers, anybody that deals with kids absolutely loves Stress Away. So I should not have forgotten this one because I used this one quite a bit this week. Okay. So, um, the kit though, the basic starter kit is $73 and that is going to get you a bottle of stress away. It will get you your membership and it'll get you some of those little samples. Okay. So then you can go in and you could order whatever you want to at wholesale costs. You can create a retail membership for free and order at retail cost, but you're probably pretty, if you're wanting to order a lot of these oils, you're going to save money by getting the wholesale membership. There's also a premium starter kit that comes with all of the oils that I just talked about. It also comes with this diffuser and it comes with your membership and that is $268 and that is going to get you the ability to order whatever you want to. And the great thing about the membership is you do not have to uh, pay every year in order to keep that wholesale discount. All you have to do is order. So if you place an order every year of at least, um, oh, it might be 100 PV, of at least a certain amount, it might be 100 in Singapore. In the United States, it's 50. But if you just order the products that you need a couple of times a year, you're going to maintain your membership. So it's easy, you do not have to order every month. So option one is to order, is to sign up for a retail account, order at retail, pay retail price, order whenever you want to and all that kind of stuff. Option number two is you sign up for a wholesale membership. I really recommend the premium starter kit and I will post the link here for you guys to be able to do this in just a minute because um, the premium starter kit is the absolute best value. It gets all of these oils in your home with a diffuser, gets you your membership. And the, gr the crazy thing is when you sign up um, for a wholesale membership, and you wanna go back and buy this kit, it's the same price. So it basically makes your membership a wash. It's your membership's free. It's the best value for getting all of these into your home. So, um, so you can do that, that's your second option. The third option, which is a really, really great one. If you were hearing me talk about like the lifestyle, the non-toxic products, the laundry detergent, the um, household cleaning, the thieves, uh, uh, start, the, the thieves cleaner, the, toothpaste, oh my goodness, I could go on and on, the dishwashing uh, detergent, the dish soap, and all of that kind of stuff. Ningxia Red, which is one of my favorite products, which is a wolfberry antioxidant supplement that my family takes every single day. If you're interested in any of those things, then I highly recommend getting on Essential Rewards, which is a monthly program where you can have your order shipped directly to your door, and you're able to choose what you want to order. Every single month you can change it, 
you have it sent to your house at a discount and you also get points back. So this is like, you know, when you go to Starbucks and you get the little points for going to Starbucks. So after you've gone so many times, then you get a free cup of coffee. That's kind of like what it's like. When you order on Essential Rewards, you get points back that you can redeem for free products. And let me tell you, last month, between the promos, because there are monthly promos every month, and my rewards points, I got like, I'm trying to think, I got $250 worth of product for free with an order that was about $400. $400 order and I got $250 worth of product for free. That is a pretty good deal. And those things are coming to my house for my family to use. That's our supplements. That's our cleaning products. That is our the oils that we need. That's our deodorant. That's all kinds of stuff that we use in our house. So the third option is to sign up. And when you sign up to get on Essential Rewards right away. You can sign up with a premium starter kit. And then add on an ER uh, uh, Essential Rewards order for Ninja Red or an essential rewards order for any of the Thieves products, or maybe there are other oils that you've heard about, you're interested in, and you can load up on those. So the thing about essential rewards is you is you have to order 100 PV every month, but if you're using Ninja Red, um, if you're using the Thieves products and things like that in order to eliminate toxic chemicals in your home, then that is easy peasy to do. So, um, And you earn those points back and are able to get those oils for free. So I'm super excited about sharing all this with you guys. I'm going to be sharing a link. Um, I'll share some graphics with some of this information because I know it's hard sometimes to remember everything that I just told you. Um, so I'm going to post some graphics. Feel free to invite people to share this event with others. It's public, so you should be able to share this video with others or share this information. Um, I'm going to be posting the link. And then I am also going to be in Singapore the first week of August. I am doing a non-toxic home event at 10.30 a.m. Um, on Thursday the 3rd, I believe. I'm double check this. I don't want to tell you the wrong date. Yes, on Thursday, August 3rd uh, at the Young Living headquarters that is open to all of Young Living. So you can come and learn more about how I use, uh, how I kind of have made our home toxin chemical, toxic chemical free with Young Living. And then um, that afternoon, I'm going to be teaching another intro to oils class. So if you're like, hey, that sounds really great, but I'd like to smell all of this stuff beforehand, feel free. Come. I'll have the oils there. You can smell them. I'll have my scanner, which I mentioned, and we can do scans um, and find out what it is your body needs. And then I will also be doing a business presentation. I mentioned this is my um my job and my career. And so I'm looking to share that opportunity with those that might be interested. So we kind of have several different opportunities to see you and meet you. And I would love to do that. Also on August 6th. So if you're busy on the 3rd, you can't make it out. August 6th, Young Living has a huge event happening at the SunTech Convention Center in uh, downtown Singapore. And so I will be there at that event as well, and that, that is a 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. event, an all-day thing. You can register at revolution.sg, and um, it's a free event, but you do I think you do have to register in order to get in, or if you pre-register, maybe you get a free peppermint or something like that. So register, go, and let me know if you're going to be there, because I really do want to meet you. I want to get to say hi to you. I would love to to get you a scan. And if those times don't work for you, I'm gonna be in Singapore for eight days. I would love to meet with you, have a cup of coffee, chat a little bit about um, about Young Living, about essential oils, about natural wellness, about nutrition, any of it, and see if there's something that might work for you or that you might be interested in. I am excited to share with you, share this event, uh, share this video with others. Uh, like my page on Anointed with Purpose, Ashley Boyd, Anointed with Purpose, and, um, and share it with others. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.